Is there a future demand for SAP MM professional? You need to understand when a business run, right? A business run to sell and to generate the profits. To generate the profits, they need to sell it, right? So they would be selling it. Now, it can depend, they can manufacture and sell it or without manufacturing also they can sell it. They can buy and sell it. Even they are manufacturing and selling, still they need to do the buying. Even they are selling it, the software services, right? IT products, they are selling it, still a lot of buying is required. Okay, a lot of buying is required. The indirect buying, buying of the services, even though they are selling the financial services, they are selling the insurance plans, right? Still the buying would be required because when you want to run a business, to run a business, a lot of things you need to buy. You need to buy a consulting services. You need to buy other services. You need to buy office equipments. You need to buy the, uh, the office supplies. A lot of things you need to buy, even though manufacturing is there or not. If manufacturing is there, then the number of materials you buy would be much higher. But even though manufacturing is not there, you are just buying and selling it then also the buying would be there. Even though the product itself is not there, physical product is not there, it's just you are handling into the intangible products. You are selling the insurance services, financial services, softwares, you are selling it where the physical product is not delivered, still buying would be there. You would be having a vendor supplying the services to you. You would be having office setups where a lot of things you need to buy. So buying in a business is always there. Buying and selling, these are the two functions in a business always there, right? So because the buying is there, buying is not going to be removed. Sourcing should be there, procurement should be there in the business. That's give a very brighter future to SAP MM professionals. But slowly the things will change. 30 years ago, if somebody knows the procure to pay cycle, how it happens in SAP, uh, uh, in SAP, you can become a consultant. Now, a lot of people know, a lot of people know that SAP offers a very lucrative journey. Now, the thing is, a lot of people are also jumping to learn SAP MM. And any BCOM, BCA uh, graduates also, if they want to jump into this one, the MM is very lucrative because MM, the terminologies are simple. Vendor is there, purchasing is there, purchase order is there. People are able to correlate with that terminology. So the number of people who are doing in SAP MM are also more. If you are jumping into SAP MM, make sure you become highly proficient in SAP MM, learning the deeper into the SAP MM. And going in future, only one module will not suffice. You need to know at least two modules to survive in it so that you have an upper hand by the other people who just have a basic knowledge or who only know the one module. So if you combine MM with Ariba or if you combine MM with EWM, then your chances of getting stable in the market and getting a rapid growth would be very high. So there is a very good demand in the market for SAP MM or sourcing and procurement consultants. Make sure you have a deeper hand into it. You know a lot of things which happens in SAP MM. If you know that, you would be able to, if you know that, if you are able to get the deeper hand, if you have multiple modules knowledge, there is a very good demand in market. Plus, you need to make sure you know the implementation projects. Without implementation projects, you will struggle in the market. So go through our internship program or Gurukul program to get the involved into the end-to-end uh, -end implementations.